Hello everyone. So here we have the October 26 content. It is going to be a Halloween attendance check event as well as Walpurgis Night. So Halloween, you're going to get a simple 7 day check in with a 10 pull at the end. Pretty simple. You get a bunch of goodies here, nothing else to it. And then next one is Walpurgis Night. I actually thought this was going to be a Halloween only event, but it turns out they want to make it quarterly. The Walpurgis Night will bring new IDs and egos. It will bring Lobotomy Ego Regret, Hook Office Fixer, and Ego Theft Regret. This is probably going to be a pairing that you will want to aim for. Not sure yet, but I mean, the, it's in the name, right? Regret, regret. So probably you want this ID, you also want the ego at the same time. Right. So Walpurgis Night is an event where you can get uh, ego equipment from Lobcorp. You can get ego pages from Ruina. You can get guests from Ruina. And in the future, maybe characters from Distortion Detective, which I have not read at all. So Distortion Detective is actually a book from P Moon, uh, you can read it on their website. I have not even started and I have no clue what it's about. So if anyone wants to give me the lore dump, uh, you can feel free to. It's gonna be quite interesting because uh, I have like I have no clue what's going on in this one. But uh, in interestingly enough, they did mention it, so we might see something there. So might want to get a read on that immediately. While the period between these events may vary, they want to hold one every quarter. That is the one I was talking about. And in the future, they want to add specific stories to the event and unique combat encounters to the game as well. Maybe we could do some abnormality fights from Lock, uh, sorry, not Lock, uh, from Ruina, or maybe I don't know. How, how would they even translate like a, a, a meltdown here or breakdown from Lock? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, besides that. They want to demonstrate interesting scenarios, blah, blah, blah. They, basically, it's a multiverse. Uh, they are, they're bringing all of their uh, IPs into one game. So it's really, really fun. I really like this idea and I think it's quite cool. I'm reminded of uh, something like Galas. Uh, if you play any side games game, right, there's always this Gala event where you can just uh, pull specifically a Gala unit that is designed for that event. And those units are usually like slightly different versions of the uh, in our case, the IDs, yeah, basically. So in this case, it looks like the Walpurgis event is going to be something like a gala where you can only get the unit, uh, this gala. Otherwise, you have to wait until the next gala and then try again. But that unit will not have a rate up. Instead, what happens is that that unit becomes dispensable. So here, the target extraction, this new banner here, will have increased extraction rates for IDs and egos. During the event, you can extract him from any other banner as well, but not receive increased rates. So if you want the Walpurgis unit, this banner is the one to pull. During the event period, IDs and Egos will be extractable from all banners, blah, 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 blah. It's, a, it's just the exact same thing, yeah. All right, and then uh, take note here, all Walpurgis Knight IDs and Egos will no longer be available once the event period ends. So the only way to get this is when you pull during this event. And this event will end on the 9th November, according to the picture here. Besides that, the dispensary, how it's going to work is that the next Walpurgis Night, you will be able to dispense the one from the previous Walpurgis Night. So IDs and Egos featured in currently ongoing cannot be purchased from dispenser. However, during the next one, you can purchase them in the dispenser. Walpurgis, IDs and Egos will be made purchasable from the dispenser only during this event period. So they will not appear until Walpurgis comes back again. So it's a gala thing. You really, if you cannot get it this, ga uh, this gala, you go wait for the next one and then you can go and dispense or you can go and pull because the rates will still be there. All right. And then the last one is we're getting a little bit of lore. New mini episode will be added on October 19th and then on October 22nd, sorry, 26, the start of Walpurgis Night, there will be another new mini episode added. And then Dante's Notes is also going to get updated. At some point, I really have to go and uh, read all of that. But yeah, pretty interesting that they're adding a gala event and pretty interesting that they're bringing all of the old uh, Lob Corp and Library of Ruina gang back here. So I went to actually check which ones these are and Hook Office is basically these guys here. I actually did not remember them because I think they were like the second battle that you would ever do. And at that point, I was just kind of playing win rate because I, at that point, it's just like, oh, if I unga bunga you, you die. So I was already unga bunga the moment like I started uh, Library of Ruina. 
So these guys, right, I went to look at their pages and it does seem like they're going to be bleed related. Uh, as for the typings, it's a bit everywhere because they are all using different weapons. The three of them, uh, this one's a scythe, this one's a, a knife and that's like, I don't know, it's a sickle and chain or something. And we, But all of them have uh, bleed involved. So most likely that is going to be the shtick of the two star that we're going to get. It's going to be bleed and maybe a little bit of self-healing going on. Yeah, bleed, 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 and then uh, a bit of uh, recovering of your own HP. So that is probably what the ID is going to be. And then the second one, which is more interesting, is the three star, which is going to be uh, this guy, the Forsaken Murderer from Lobotomy Corporation. If you look at his weapon, his weapon is the ego weapon Regret. So literally, it is going to be this, yeah. The Ego Weapon Regret does blunt damage and honestly all these stats from uh, Lob Corp doesn't really matter. We can look at the Ruiner version of this enemy. The Ruiner version of this enemy gives you double stagger damage on successful attacks. That's what this boss's shtick was. And he also loses four mind he loses power and blah blah blah. But I think this doesn't really matter for us. Uh, but generally you can see here it's just blunt, 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 blunt. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a blunt ID for the ego uh not sure about the i'm not sure about the ego the id is probably going to do blunt stuff but i don't know what's the ego going to do at all so yeah that's all i got i'm thinking maybe it'll do something like do more stagger damage that could possibly be something but at the same time the mechanics are a lot different between uh, uh ruina and limbus yeah so i think that is all i can kind of predict here i really got nothing much else to go on here uh I see Raph here, so maybe it's going to be a Raph element, I don't know. But at that point, it's just speculation out of my ass. I got no other things to talk about. But we're definitely getting a Blunt ID, and I think this ego is also going to be something related to Blunt. Maybe something to do with Stagger or whatever. But yeah, that is it. Looking forward to seeing these. And uh, yeah, hope you guys actually have saved up some lunacy because uh, this shit is not dispensable on the first time that this appears. You have to wait for the second Walpurgis Night. Yep. Alright, so I will see you guys on Walpurgis Night, and that is all. Bye-bye.